Halo needs a little love, man. That's all I'm trying to say, dudes. That's all I'm trying to say. Did you hear Shroud's considered playing Halo? Yeah, I heard Asmund Gold and Shroud are both considering playing. It's a fun game. It's free to play. You can't beat it. Free to play Halo. Can you imagine that when you were a kid? That's like walking to the GameStop and be like, and then just having a new CD and be like, here's Halo, young whippersnapper. Halo Infinite is seeing a surge in publicity in the recent weeks, both positive and a little bit negative. But it really seems like the negative articles and videos and takes are just to drum up clicks and engagement since the majority of the takes coming out from not just inside the Halo player base, but the gaming community at large is mostly positive. Multiple large content creators who are not known for focusing on the Halo franchise have turned their sights on Season 4. Jack Frags, Handler, Summit, 1G, Shroud, and on and on have been jumping on to Halo Infinite recently and sharing their thoughts with their own communities. This has resulted in a huge rise in viewership on Twitch and YouTube, as well as a high in player counts on both Steam and, assumedly, Xbox. The last I checked, a high concurrent player count of 7,000 was on Steam, and if we use Halo.API's tweets, we can assume with a high level of confidence that Halo Infinite might have up to 35,000 players at peak. Now, I know some of you are already typing up a storm in the comments saying 35k is nothing, the game's dead, this doesn't even compare to Sea of Thieves or whatever it is. And honestly, I think the game could have like 100k players and I think people would still like compare it to other games or say that's not what peak Halo 3 was. So let's not try to move the goalposts anymore and look at this from a purely growth point of view. But before we do that, I just want to say thank you all for the support. We are so close to 12,000 subscribers. We could literally hit that this video. Like 96% of you who watch aren't subbed. So like if just a couple of you sub, we would hit 12k. And if you like Halo content and you want it from somebody who doesn't whine and complain the whole time, but is also critical of the game, this is the channel for you. But anyways, the game is getting more players. We're in season four. 343 hasn't abandoned the game. Season five and six are looking good, and we are getting content consistently. I think one of the important things to do is that you can't just look at Halo Infinite or any other game just in a vacuum. They have to be compared to other titles, other similar titles at least, that are out around the same time. With the updates that we've gotten and looking at the rest of the first person shooter market, it kind of looks like it's not doing so hot and that makes Halo Infinite look even better by default. The only complaint I really have is that there's no campaign DLC or expansion on the horizon and honestly I think that sucks. Like I really hope soon-ish, like within the next three years that we get something. Another take that I'm seeing from social media is that 343 is paying people like Shroud and Summit and Jack Frags to make content on the game, and I think that's really silly. Not that a company would pay content creators to promote the game or anything like that or play it, but I just think that it's silly because I think maybe if this was a relaunch of the game or there was a huge new mode coming out like the Battle Royale or something else that's just like super large being added... I could see them paying people, but even then, I think those streamers and content creators and YouTubers would make content regardless because it would organically get a ton of views. Like, people have been waiting for something like that forever, so I don't know. So where do we go from here? I think the population will keep increasing with content being added mid-season. It's really leveled off the player population. We don't have this huge drastic drop now. The replayability of, like, career rank and stuff like that having some type of reason to keep playing i think has also helped will shroud and summit stop playing the game most likely shrouds never really seemed like a huge fan of the franchise in general but with counter-strike 2 coming out at some point i think a lot of games will see a drop in population for that starfield is also soon there's lots of new games on the horizon and that's okay you shouldn't force yourself to play a game, especially if you aren't enjoying it. And that's something I'll never understand is like why people seek to have discourse with others on a game they don't even play, like on social media. That's just weird vibes to me. Like, I, I, I don't know if like they just enjoy it or having like, I don't know, they seek some type of attention or I, I don't know what it is. Or if they think that they're funny or that they're living rent for free in people's heads. I don't know. I just couldn't imagine... As you all know, I played Destiny for a long time and made content on it and everything. And like, I was not happy with how the game was turning out and where it was going and what the focus was. 
and like I was negative, it was, you know, kind of impacting my life because like I was making content. I'd just be upset the whole time. And now doing something that I enjoy playing and enjoy making content on, it's just like a huge change, I feel like, I don't know, I'm just more happy at this point. That's not a knock on if you like Destiny or anything like that, I'm just saying. In my personal opinion, like if you keep doing something that's negatively affecting you, I don't know, it's just weird. But I digress. So after two years of negative sentiment, it feels like Halo Infinite is finally heading into a great place. And I'm here for that ride. Hopefully we get some PvE content in the coming seasons, which the next one is less than 60 days away at this point. And maybe some new news around that certain Affinity game mode. You know, maybe if there's going to be an engine change and stuff like that. Gamescom is coming up. So we'll see what happens also, imagine if season two of the Halo show was like a 7 out of 10. Man, that would... <laughs> man. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you made it this far in the video, comment down below, John Halo. I read all the comments, and it always geeks me out when I see you guys show out down there, and like, there's all these comments, like, I think we did uh, Snorlax one time, and there was like 50 comments saying Snorlax, so... And it, it just is really cool to me to see how many of you stick around to the end of the video. Also, that being said, if you want to help out the channel, make sure you like the video. Greatly helps with YouTube's algorithm and gets my content out in front of other people. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will catch you around the ring. Peace!